The Safe Tots metal multi-panel wall mounting kit will come with the following parts. There'll be two back plates, two connectors, two caps, one cap which holds the pole and one cone. You will also get the one additional pole um, and then we do provide um, some uh, large wood screws um, for fixing the back plate However, you may wish to choose your own fixings depending on the surface that you are screwing into. Uh, once you've got your configuration in place, what you will find is that you won't have a pole on that end. You'll have one loose pole on this end and then obviously you'll have the parts of the wall mounting kit to finish off the configuration. We start by finishing off each end in preparation for positioning the wall mounting kit. Starting at the end with the cone, we need to select the following parts uh, from the wall mounting kit part list. You'll need this part, which is a cone with a ring through it. You'll need the cap to finish off the top of the configuration. And you'll need one of the connectors. So you slot the pole through the connector. And then we'll connect the ringed cap into the bottom there and then first of all we slot the pole up into the cone and then the bottom with just a tiny bit of force into the ring there. To finish off um, or to make the neatest finish for the wall mounting kit we raise this up over the top of the cap there. To complete the other side of our configuration, we take the following remaining pieces from the wall mounting kit. We'll be taking the cone, the cap, the pole and the connector. Again, we're going to slot the pole through the connector. We're going to affix the cap underneath the last panel to give us a nice finish. And we're going to pop the cone underneath there. We do exactly the same process. We put the pole through the cone and then we join up the pole into the ring. And then the last part is just to pull the wall mounting kit up to the top to give us a nice finish at the top. The final part of the process is to um, secure the back plates to the wall where you want the configuration to be secure. Um, we suggest that the first thing you do is you slot the back plate through the holes there and push up and you'll hear a click. This is it in position. Now what you can do is you can put it against the wall where you want to position it and then mark it, take it away from the wall and then you want to release the back plate from the fixings. This is also good practice for when the product is actually in position. So you'll release it, put it down and put it away. You can then move your configuration away and then you can use the screws provided or your own screws to secure the back plate against the wall. This will then mean that the back plate's in position, safe and your um, configuration can be connected to the back plate, ready to use. Once we have uh, secured the back plate to the wall, we now can connect the product, just raise it slightly, pop it in, and that will be clicked into position and a very strong configuration uh, and safe configuration. Um, if in the future you want to take it away or move it or anything else, very simple to remove. Just pop your hand through here, pull back the button with two thumbs, and that will release the button, raise up and take away.